It's Friday, September 8th, coming up on an all-new year. And think you have an idea for a gadget that parents would love? Then find out how mom inventors turn their ideas into reality and how you can too. All that, hot topics, and more on Season 10 of The View. They say necessity is the mother of invention. There we are. And if you think you're sitting at an idea that no parent could do without, find out how to get it from there to here with the author of this new book, Mom Inventor's Handbook. Tamara, Tamara, right? Yes. I almost said Tamara. Uh, well, you do the last name. Monasov. Exactly what I would have said. Tamara Monasov, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. How'd you come up with this idea? It's a good one. Well, I wrote the book because I read business books and inventing books when I had my own idea, and nothing told me exactly what to do. And so that's why I wrote the book to help others do it. And I have some tips I'd love to offer. Go. Sure. First one is that you want to gain knowledge about the process before you spend money. And the second one is you want to set realistic expectations. I think people think they're going to make a million dollars overnight. It's right. hard work, but it can be enormously gratifying and lucrative. Yes. And you also want to avoid um, the product submission companies, the ones that promise you that they're going to take your product to market. And then they just take all your money. It's the saddest yeah, they, thing. I've heard, I, they own the idea then. I've heard right? so many sad stories. And then you want to search the market to make sure that your product doesn't already exist. You can do that on the Internet and go into the stores themselves. And then you also want to, um, you may not need to get a patent. You, you, that's not your first step. People often think that's the first step. Yeah, I would think and, so. you know, you may not need one at all. And the last thing is to create a prototype and have fun doing this. You can use household items to get started. If you need a flexible plastic, cut a water bottle. And if you need to get, you know, fabric, go to your sock drawer and get a glue gun and you have fun doing it. To so make whatever prototype you can exactly. around the house. Whatever it is exactly. you think you need. Now, you made up a toilet paper saver. TP saver. My daughter started pulling the toilet paper at 10 months old, which yes. is really cute until she clogged the toilet. Yeah. And I, I never <laughs> intended to invent anything. I just went to the store to buy the gadget to prevent kids from doing that. There wasn't anything, and that's why I, I invented it. And it's I really need this. <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah, it's like, sort of a cool idea. It's like a rubber band. All you do roll. is you take it out. That's easy for me to say. So yeah. you know, this is why it's good though, because then the kids can't get at it. And you insert it right here. Okay. It's got a toddler safety lock. So it's hard for kids, but it's really easy for, for adults. adults. Now, great. have you made any money on this? It does work. Then yes, only get it's a done piece. very well. And, you know, it's great for pets. It never even occurred to me when I invented it the first time that, that there'd be other markets. Right. There's cats and dogs do it. Exactly. It's also great for RVs and boats. I mean, who knew? I didn't know. And then these, <laughs> these, are, these are Amos. No, here, this is our new one. This is Ann Neal. She's another mom inventor. Oh, hi, hi, Ann. This is Elizabeth. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What did you invent, Ann? Well, um, what I invented is a product called Tinkle Targets, and I got the idea when I was working with my son on potty training. Yeah. And we were kind of working on that whole, you know, standing, aiming, paying yeah, attention yeah. to what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and not going so well. So, no. um, you know, after cleaning the bathroom floor, the shower door, uh, yeah. the wall, yeah. um, well, I thought, you know, we might, he might do better if he had some fun way to participate in this. So what we came up with is this. Better up. Target. You um, stick this in, I'm sure it's biodegradable, yeah, and they up. aim for the football. That could be for you, although Grace won't need it. She won't need a target. It's okay. She likes now, to listen, stand in peace. When I was a kid, I used to, I, when my kids were little, I put Cheerios in there. And they used to target practice to hit the Cheerios. Good that idea. works too, right? Well, the reason why I think that, that this idea has worked well is because it's a stationary target. Once you've placed it in the bowl, it stays at one place. So it yeah. allows them one place to focus. Yeah. Oh. And the, whole, the idea of bringing food into the bathroom wasn't something that I wanted to promote. Because really? my kids would be having a picnic in there probably. <laughs> <laughs> I was going, come on, you can sink it, Blake. You can sink it, you know? Well, this is the book, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like one, go to Barnes & Noble or Amazon and get it. But if you're in our audience, you're taking one home. The 